like to first start supporting for Canisius Chronicles about the evolution of registration here at Canisius College. I traveled to Praxair Incorporated, an industrial gas company, to interview Jennifer White and Christy Ruda, two Canisius College alum, to tell us about their registration process here at Canisius. The registration process for myself when I was at Canisius, I was there between the years of 1996 and 2000. And, um, a lot of it was going to, I don't even remember the name of the building, to be honest with you. It was next to Old Main. Um, and uh, you ended up having to stand in line, choose your classes from a course booklet, um, write down the information on a course sheet that you wanted to take, and then hand it into the registrar. They would tell you uh, whether or not the classes were available, and then you would get your confirmation listing back. As for Christy Ruda, she had a different experience registering for classes during her four years at Canisius College. To register for classes as an undergrad at Canisius, um, the process involved logging into the computer system and, from what I recall, typing in the CRN numbers for the classes that you wanted and submitting them and hoping that you did it quickly enough that you got the classes that you wanted. Students searched through course booklets to find the classes they would need for registration. These course booklets were available to students at the Students' Records Office in Bagan Hall. Not much changed. It was pretty much the same process all four years. Um, there was still the registration booklet. You still had to fix that. You choose your courses from that point forward and write down the registration information and turn it to the registrar, get your confirmation back. Two years ago, from 2012, the hard copy catalogs were stopped, and an electronic version was only available online to Canisius College students. At the beginning of my time at Canisius, the options were limited really to like a thick catalog that you had to kind of peruse through and find the classes that you needed. Um, and you could make an appointment with your advisor if you needed to. Um, and I think towards the end, towards my senior year, I think that started to migrate to an online version of that catalog. There are many resources available to students who are in search for classes during registration time. Today, the Griff Audit gives students an easier access to the classes they need for their majors. I have no idea what Griff Audit is. Um, advisors were always available, so you always had that kind of uh, backing to help you decide what courses maybe you needed to take next. I know I use a lot of professors, especially when I was going through a specific course of study. They would kind of guide you and tell you, you know, you know, if you took this one, it's going to be like it's going to help you with this er particular area. Or if you're looking at this concentration, take these particular classes. I was trying to go for a more of an international relations study, and so I used the the resources for my professors there to guide me along that path, um, and students uh, as well. So you know, um, I participated in a sorority was when I was at Canisius. So some of my sorority sisters who had also gone through the same um, poli-sci major had kind of helped me and guide me along in, in terms of what courses I would want to take, um, professors that were really good, um, things that they got out of the classes that would help me in my major. The Griff Audit is a personalized degree requirement summary listing for each individual student requirements in both core, major, and minor. The audit lists out the courses taken and how the courses apply to their requirements along with classes needed in order to fulfill these requirements. Yeah. That was always paper before. It would, it would give you, I remember, and, and you would get a paper that would list out what you would need in order to graduate, but it wouldn't tell you necessarily specific classes that you needed to take. That was kind of, just here's a book, go find yeah. some. Right? Mm -hmm. With today's technology, registration has become a much easier task for Canisius College students. It allows students to go through the steps of registration online rather than in line at Bagan Hall. I think it's become a lot more simple <coughs> today for students to register with the Griff Audit program. I know that you can quickly see what you've already taken and what you might need to take to fulfill all the requirements for your, for your courses. With their surplus supply of computers and laptops today, registration has become much simpler for students. Jennifer White comments on the pros and cons of today's registration simplicity. Oh gosh, I can only imagine with technology how it might be very simple in terms of being able to choose courses online or being able to go through that type of process, but it could also be something like eBay where <laughs> you're waiting for that 
clock to hit midnight and waiting to, to click to see if you get into a class or like Ticketmaster, right? When you're seeing if you can get uh, something, uh, a ticket for a concert or something like that. Do you get a seat in this class? Um, I can see how that could be good, but maybe not so good either if you're having problems with the technology or the system. Who do you call when you have, have those types of issues, right? The registration process is always changing and becoming simpler for students each year. I can't wait to see what the future brings us. I'm Rachel Fishback, signing off for Kanisha's Chronicles.